Today, we'll create this animated timeline in Canva, a perfect addition to any explainer video or social media post. Make sure to stick around until the end where we'll add immersive sound design and create a perfectly fitting royalty-free soundtrack in Udio. Let's get straight into it. Open Canva and create a new design. I am using a 16 by 9 video crop, but you can follow along in mobile video format if preferred. First, let's create a guide split into three even spaces by placing a vertical guideline at 640px and another at 1280px. Next, press R on your keyboard to create a rectangle shape Change the color to black and resize it so it takes up the whole area in the first section. Press Alt on your keyboard and drag a duplicate to the other side of the page. Open the Elements tab and search for a circle shadow. Click on this one, align it to the very left of the canvas, then move it downwards until it snaps into the halfway point when leaving the canvas. Create a duplicate on the other side of the page, then select all layers and group them like so. Now let's create the timescale by opening a new page, and with the elements tab open, search for ruler measurement. Select this one, rotate by 180 degrees, align to the bottom right of the canvas, and create a duplicate like so. Zoom in and make sure the two endpoints are overlapping to keep things evenly spaced. Select both layers and resize them to the halfway point. Then duplicate again to cover the full width of the canvas and group them together like so. The scale includes nine points to work with. If you are working with a broad numbered scale like I am, you may want to duplicate again to increase the range. Next. Open the text tool and select Add a Heading. Type out the first unit of your scale and align it to the first point. Let's change the background color of the page to black and change the color of the elements accordingly before we move any further. Continue adding the units to the scale, making sure to group them together every time you cover the full width of the canvas. Once the scale is completed, copy it over to the first page. Place a guideline at the halfway mark of the canvas, then align the first unit of the scale to this line. Open the Position tab and move the scale behind the group layer. Click on the page and change the background color to black. As you can see, with the scale placed behind the group layer we created earlier. We can give the illusion of the scale appearing out of nowhere. At this point, we can increase the size of the scale so it is more prominent on the page. To add a bit of texture to the design, I'm going to open the Elements tab and add a grunge overlay texture on top of the group layer. Add the image of your subject to the center of the page. I have chosen the timeline of a person's life, but you can add anything here, like the evolution of the iPhone, for example. You can optionally add a title above the subject image. I find increasing the letter spacing to be a nice effect for a title with so much space around it. Time to start animating. Select the subject image and in the animation panel, select the succession animation, making sure both is selected in this section. Set the duration of the first page to four seconds, then press Ctrl D on your keyboard to make a duplicate. With the second page selected, open the position tab and select the scale group like so, hold shift on your keyboard and align the next unit to the centered guideline. Replace the subject image, making sure to add the same succession animation as before. 
Place a match and move transition between the two pages with a duration of two seconds. Now let's preview what we have so far. You may notice that the subject image does not animate during the transition. Let's fix that. Select the thumbnail zoom function and zoom in to 500%. Right click on the subject in the first page and select show timing. Set the image to disappear before the match and move transition activates. Do the same with the image in the second page. Now let's preview the results. Nice. Repeat this process until you have covered all of the scenes in the timeline. Now let's add some sound design. Open the audio tab, filter for effects, and search for Polaroid camera. Select this one, place it on the timeline, and position it so it activates when the match and move transition begins. Reduce the volume to 10. Then repeat this process for the rest of the transitions in the timeline. Now let's quickly jump into Udio to generate some fitting music for this scene. Something like sentimental, time-lapse, piano, arpeggio, film score should best describe the music for this timeline animation. I make sure to set it as an instrumental, meaning no lyrics or singing. And three generations later, I have something perfectly fitting. Let's add it to the timeline and preview the finished product.